okay, how to dance better, how, where to start. So number one, we have to take a look at our body. We have feet, we have our knees, we have our hips, we have our body, and then we have arms. So we have to organize all of it first. So number one, we'll start with our feet. So the feet always should be in 45 degree natural turnout position. So that's number one. That's gonna apply to every dance. So let's go through a few basic steps, different dances, and see how we can apply this secret already to dance better. For example, if we're doing cha-cha-cha, we have a rock step back, two, and we try to keep natural turnout. Replace four, three, natural turnout. Then we do a small side chasse with a natural turnout. So never fit here. Cha, then we close cha, and then from here we use this hip to go side, but make sure place your foot in a natural turnout position right away, and that's what already will make it better. Then we go rock step forward, two, making sure our feet in natural turnout, three, replacing going side, cha, cha, you see when we close here, we don't wanna have the feet turned in, always turn out, and then push from the heel, one. So go again, two and three, and a cha, cha, one and two and three and a cha cha one. So we just learned a basic cha cha step. And as always, we want to add some quality how to dance, how to dance it better, how to make it look good. And number one is having your natural turnout in the feet. So exactly the same for the international rumbas. So we have rock step two, we have natural turnout replace three. And now we have a side step four. So placing our foot with the natural turnout, never here and transferring body weight forward. The, the same going for the rock step forward. Two, and three, and four, one. So it brings us to understanding the steps and then how we do it. How we do, we have a natural turnout. The same if we will take step in samba, for example. And already if we do a whisk, we have this position, it's called uh, Latin cross. And in Latin cross, we, we never wanna have feet turned in. We always wanna have feet turned out, even that foot, slightly behind but very often this foot goes this way and that's not recommended so you want to have it in a natural turnout and then we'll do a whisk so go side one so we have this knee bend but the feet are always natural turnout ah uh, two and thirty ah uh, four five of course we, there is many more actions happen to it seven i eight but for us number one to learn the basic step and put at least one quality into it, which is natural turnout. Okay, so then, for example, we learn jive and swing, basic step. We have a rock step, we have a tree pull step, tree pull step. And once we learn the step, what we wanna focus on, it's of course, natural turnout in the feet. So our feet look good, and it's immediately will create a base, foundation for our body action, our leg action, hip actions, if we already have this organized. So what I like to do, I like to learn one secret, but then go through many dances with the same secret. Let's say if we move to American style, American rumba, we have box step, quick, quick, and slow, quick, quick, and slow. And of course, once we learn the step, we wanna make it look good, we wanna make it look better. So how we do it? So first we apply principle number one, natural turnout in the feet. As we're doing this box, of course we wanna make sure we're doing correct step, but our feet, the way we place them, are always in natural turnout. So number, so you can go through any Latin dance, will be the same. Even when you dance salsa, for example, club dance, which just doesn't have really that much of a technique, but still, like let's do salsa step, quick, quick, slow, and we replace quick, quick, slow. If we have our feet in a natural turnout, it will always will look better. You will have more stability, more control, and it just naturally will look more beautiful, more visually appealing. Okay, so number two secret we can uh, work on today, it's a foot placement, foot placement, especially when we're going forward and back. So when we're going forward and back, and assuming we have already secret number one, natural turnout, when we're going forward, where do we place this foot is very important. So the number two principle is the heel and toe of the foot are always on the same line. 
So this will be like a two tracks. And if I turn them in, you'll see my heel and toe are always on the same line. So if we, our starting position is here and we would like to go forward, the foot, the, the front foot toe will decide where the heel will go. So we, we have a nice foot placement. What happens normally when people dance, they either overcross, so it's too much, or even worse, it's open. So it's create a big opening in the leg. That's not recommended. So the number two quality is a correct foot placement. Or we can say heel and toe always on the same line. So we step forward, we try to see it as our heel and toe always on the same line. We step forward, heel and toe on the same line. Now see the, the same idea when we go backward. But now backward, we're going to focus on our standing leg and the heel of my standing leg, which is this leg, right leg at this moment, will decide where I will position my foot, where I will place my foot. Because a lot of time happens that people step here too much over cross or they go here. So it's too much opening and that's not recommended. So heel and toe on the same line when we're going back. Heel and toe on the same line when we're going forward. Heel and toe, same line. Walk. And we can play with the different dances here. So if we do rumba walks forward and back, we go quick and quick and slow. We have rumba walks backward, same idea. Quick and quick and slow. We can do cha cha forward and back. Same idea. We go walk and walk and cha 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 and two and three and cha 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 so heel and toe on the same line and this immediately together with that natural turnout create incredible look okay so uh let's say samba cruzado walk if you move in samba forward so even you see when we set up you don't want to have our leg back like this because it's too much of a cross you don't want to have here too much opening so you want to have more or less on the same line Heel and toe. Put your weight in front and we go cruzado walk. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, and four. So in this case, your leg, your foundation already set and you can ready to go for the next ideas. Okay, so number three, principle in order of importance after natural turnout, correct foot placement, it's inner thighs rushing especially for the lady important but also important for the men brushing your inner thighs so anytime your one leg passing another leg your inner thighs these parts have to brush it's called brushing brushing so if i slow down a little bit uh, for this simple moment when we change weight it's almost like i lift my two heel and i want to kind of stop here be aware of this moment of the brush now, what mistakes are happening? Most of, uh, most of the mistakes happen in this department, that you open one leg sooner and then another one is catching. So you have that gap. Yeah, and then the tightness, more tight you dance, better it looks. Again, if you're over tightening, then you cannot really take a step. Maybe that's a little bit too much, but better overdo it than underdo it. So let's practice brushing, brushing. And brushing happens on the two different Maybe like even three levels. So it's uh, inner thighs, upper thighs, then your knees are touching, and then your ankle bones right here are also touching. So this will be a great exercise. So you can feel the three layers of the brush. And you see, just simply by changing weight in place, it's already look like a beautiful dance. And quick, and quick, and slow, and quick, and quick, and slow. Let's say this is already a movement in rumba, which is called basic in place. I'm doing cha cha as well, if you change the rhythm. But most of people here will focus only on the hip, on the outside. So for us, it's more important what happens here on inside, and then only you can do your hip action, your compressions, everything else. But if it's this is the legs are not tight enough, it's never gonna look good. So tighten your legs, brushing inner thighs. So now we have already three qualities, natural turnout, correct foot, uh, foot placement, and brushing inner thighs. And brushing inner thighs, you will see, is very 
much helps, for example, to uh, for the foot placement. So if uh, if we have mirror right now, we can see ourselves and we can actually see where to place this foot. If we turn around, you don't see. But if you brush your inner thighs, it will give you a sensation where to place your foot. So you brush, so brushing will give you where to place your foot. So the brushing will give you the feel of your legs because when you dance, you don't want to look down, you not always have a mirror. You want to feel your foot placement and the brushing, it's create that feel. And also brushing by itself when, we, when you dance. Brushing, it's also already become emotional expression when you, when you perform. Because when you do just body action, hip action, it's one feeling, it more feels like a work. When you focus on the brush, it creates that sensitivity, that beautiful expression of the dance. So this secret number three is very deep and has a different layers to it and is extremely important. So let's practice brushing in a different variations of how we dance. Let's start with the cha cha. For example, we start here. We already don't want to be this way. We want to have a little bit upper thighs connected. Now in this case we have normally we have three layers of brush. It's your upper thigh, it's your knees and your ankle. So in this case my knees do not, do not touch. So we have only two points of connection. So ideally as you start your knee has this angle, not here. Now we're gonna go back. You see the, our leg brushing, 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 brushing. We go two. Now here, try to stay connected on the backward walk. Only open this hip, only replace. Three. Now, when we go inside, still there is a sense of slide brushing, and then you go cha, cha. Now I have three layers of, of brush, and then you go one. And of course, here you have leg slightly open, but still, you have intention to get your uh, inner thighs together rather than having them in this open position. And you see brushing your ankles, brushing your inner thighs, two, and on replace brushing your inner thighs, three, and going cha, 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 and two. And you see when I have pants, you want to hear that sound, or maybe with your stockings, or maybe with your skin. So this sound is extremely important. And two, and three, and cha, 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 and two, and three, cha, cha, cha. And the same, for example, if we dance samba, we already in that Latin cross position with our beautiful natural turnout, already start focusing on this area. What do you feel between your legs? So your legs coming towards each other, feeling that brush, then you can produce a little bit more beautiful actions. You go one, and then here, make sure it goes through here. Ah, two. One. Ah, two. And if you want to have really more beautiful leg action, foot action, you can take almost like a small circle here as your feet brushing, ankles touching, and then you go knees and upper thighs connected. One and ah, two. One and ah, two. One and ah, two. And let's move, for example, to cha cha forward step. Same idea. See, we stand in this position, already upper thighs touching. Now, as we proceed forward, upper side touch, brush, 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 knee touch, ankle touch. Then we take a step two. The same here. Brushing, 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 touching, 30. Then we have lock step. And cha cha, make sure it's tight enough. And then going one. The same if you're going to go backward, two step, two. See, every time I step back, inner thighs close and close, and then only on the open. Three, ah, uh, cha, cha, and cha. And this can apply to any dance, like American Rumba as well. Quick, quick. So you have here mm, that brushing change, slow with the correct foot placements, of course. Quick, quick, and slow. Quick, quick, and slow. Quick, quick, and slow. As tight as possible, as much as possible, turn out and the correct foot placement. So three layers of technique. Now, if we do a little bit body actions, that's already much wider subject, how to do actions in the body. So if you take a look on the hip, 
the first, the very first movement of the hip is a natural pendulum. So if you just rock like this and the, and the hip follow your spine, you have a natural pendulum. So you keep changing up and up on different side. Now we can take it up, now slightly forward, side and back. Then we have a little bit more figure eight. Up for figure eight. Quick, quick and slow. Quick and quick and slow. Quick and quick and slow. So as much as possible figure eight is better. So for example, how we can add another layer to our dancing, right? If we do cha-cha, we have step back two, and now let your hip go forward side, and on the back, a little bit faster to replace for the next action. So you don't, you don't wanna go open right away. So it actually goes forward two and uh, three, and now instead of just going side, cha-cha, just change pendulum, add a little bit circular motion in your hip. Cha, cha, one. And on the exit here, one, almost like a question mark here, figure eight, and two, the same here, and three, and uh, cha, cha, uh, one, and two, and three, cha, cha, uh, one. Same idea, for example, if you're doing our samba, whisk. So instead of just doing traditional bounce, we can add a little bit figure eight as well here. Hip circle one and uh, two, uh, one and uh, two, uh, one and uh, two, uh, one and uh, two. And similar, let's say if we go forward, rumba walks, cha cha is the rumba walks. So hip going forward, side and back, walk, hip going forward, side back, walk forward. And uh, two, uh, 